In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk through how you can make sermon clips inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, just as a disclaimer, you do need the paid version of DaVinci Resolve for this tutorial, just because it supports subtitles. So if you use the freed version, I'm sorry, but you can use Premiere. I have another tutorial on that. I'll link uh, right here above and in the description. But today is just about DaVinci Resolve and how you can make sermon clips in the paid version. I already have a timeline set up in here. Um, I usually to do this to start out, I just open up a new timeline and bring in our our live stream. This is the entire live stream from our church, um, uh, just the sermon. So drop that onto the timeline, bring up the audio level if it needs it a little bit. And then I just go through and just select clips. And if I zoom in, I just cut and move clips up to the next video layer. So I can quickly go through a sermon and um, just find points that I like and then move them up to the next video layer. And then after just a couple minutes, 10 or 20 minutes, you can have uh, four or five sermon clips from one single sermon. So this one I've already picked out just for time's sake what sermon clip I want to use. So I'll go ahead and play it. Forgiving other people requires that you and I give up our right for revenge. That we give up our right to stay mad or to get even or to wish harm or evil on them or to hurt them back. Cool. So pretty short. I generally suggest keeping these very short. Our average real uh, view duration is no no longer than 10 seconds, usually more like seven or eight. So I'd like I'd prefer to keep it shorter. This one, I think, will work really well. So we want to one add captions and two reformat it to vertical for Instagram reels or YouTube shorts or uh, TikTok, whatever you want to use. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate this current timeline that we have and then rename this to clip one. And then I'll just double click to open that up. And then I'm going to delete all the extra footage that we haven't used and move that back to the very beginning and maybe just move that onto the first layer. So all we have here is our clip on the timeline now. And then the next thing that we're going to do is go up to timeline and hit create subtitles from audio. And uh, the characters per line is really the only thing you need to adjust here. Um, 15 works pretty well because I think the quicker text looks better online. I don't want really long text of subtitles. So I'm going to leave that at 15, but you can play around and find out what works the best for you and just hit create and it's going to analyze and generate our subtitles. So that was pretty fast. And uh, I can see it actually looks pretty good. So if you need to change any of these, you can click on any of them and go over to caption and then just click on one of the subtitles and change the text up here. And then under track, these are all your settings for font, for the background, for any of that. So I'm gonna change the font to a Helvetica Now display. That's kind of our default font that we use for um, just general sermons, things like that. But if you want to take this to the next level, I would also suggest using the style that your current sermon series is in so it can kind of create some variety in the reels on your church's social media. So I know I want to move this up a little more towards the center of the screen and add a background. Maybe add just a slight corner. And then uh, for even here, let me just change the color to like the background and then change the outline color to that same color. And then change the opacity to 100%. So that looks pretty cool. And then I also like to change it to all caps. Maybe adjust the size a little bit like that. And now the captions are pretty much done. The next thing I'm gonna do is change this to be a vertical format. So I'm gonna right click on here, go to timeline settings, disable use project settings because I want this to be a different format. So I'm gonna click use vertical resolution and go to 1080 by 1920 and hit okay. And then you can see instantly it crops into that vertical format, which is exactly what we want. But some of the problem is you can see our pastor just moves out of frame just slightly as he moves around. So what we can do to fix that is click on our clip and go to uh, smart reframe this option under the video inspector and just leave it on auto. That usually works fine for me and hit reframe and it's just gonna analyze our clip here. And then uh, you can see if I play through and mute the audio for a minute, it tracks and kind of follows with him 
as he moves back and forth. So I will say I like Premier's options with this a little better, the reframe portion, because it actually allows you to customize if you want faster motion or smoother motion or more natural. And this uh, Resolve doesn't give you a lot of those options, but still fits for these purposes and just for creating a lot of reels from sermons, that's pretty much it. So this looks great so far. I'm gonna actually go to the color tab and just on this default node, you don't have to know a ton about this just to um, select and adjust the color on one single clip. So I'm just gonna adjust the contrast a little bit, bring the contrast up and then maybe bring our gain, which is kind of like highlights up just a little bit to add some more uh, brightness and then maybe a little more saturation. So if I come over here and hit reset node grade and undo that you can kind of see the before and the after same with this up here it'll just disable the effects so i think that looks a little better last thing that we're going to do is just export it so i'm going to go over to deliver and i can hit h.264 master um, i'm going to choose a location and just put it in my downloads change it to clip one and then I change the format generally to MP4 that plays a little better with social media. And then what you need to remember to do is export the subtitle as well. So the format I want to burn into video because we want our subtitles to burn into the top of the video. I, wanna, I don't want that as a separate file. And then next thing is just add to render queue and render all and then you're done. So that's how I create sermon clips inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next one.